Hello, it's Sharon and this is the pizzeria from 1983. 1993. Um, it's from Bluebird, it's a vintage pizzeria and I just got this this week. And I'm not uh, showcased this one, but I want to show you how I always clean my sets when I get, when I bought one. So let's take a look at what we have. I have here a tiny bit of water with cleaning, with a cleaner, and I have some wooden sticks, which is really handy for the for the parts where you can't reach with the cotton sticks and I also these are uh, wet wipes uh, just uh, to clean with and I have also something to dry it with so let's open it and it doesn't uh, look so dirty at all but if you just put the cotton in the cleaning water, we are just going. And you have to be careful you don't make the you don't make the the stickers wet because here there are stickers and you don't want them to get wet. So here's also a sticker. So be careful you are not making it wet and you can see it's a little bit dirty and you can see it maybe better if I I just wipe the floor with it and especially the, the round Things where you can put your poly in are always dirty and even when they have storage it closed dust will come everywhere so you're just cleaning every corner and every you can see it's gray so it's always dirty and so that's what we do with uh, with the cotton stick this one is dirty now so I throw it away and with this wooden stick you can go just in between the structure and you can make it a bit wet so it can clean and you can see No, you don't see it very well, but I'm taking the stick is a bit dirty, but you can't see it so well on the camera, but I see a lot of dirt. see it maybe on the stick it's a bit dirty but it's not easy to to show <laughs> but this is how I clean every part and I know it's boring to just see this for 20 minutes long so I think I will just clean my set and end the video and but this is uh, just what I do and I also use
these wet napkins they are really handy to uh, to make it clean just uh, they're not damaging anything not the paint or something and you can go It's not that dirty. Sometimes you have a really dirty set. And I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it that it's a little bit gray. So we are doing good. We are doing fine. So, and after that you can just make it dry, and so that's how we do with every set, the cleaning. And I'm also uh, looking at my polys, if they are good, and I already have this with, uh, with glue, with textile fabric glue, and this one was really loose, so you see now it's good doesn't fall it's just uh, good again just fabric glue I showed it in another video textile glue it's uh, really cheap and it really works so um, that's about it just some wooden sticks some cotton sticks some cleaning water and paper towel and some wet towels and that's all what you need so that was it for today I'm not vlogging uh, very regularly um, I'm just uh, vlogging when I have time and when I when I like to vlog so uh, you can just ask if you want to see a particular uh, poly pockets but I don't have many still I just uh, collecting for a half year so that's not very long so I don't have so much but I have some uh, ones I can make a video of my uh, of my uh, collection so you can see what I have and for now I want to say subscribe and see you in the next video I hope you find this interesting how I just clean my polypocket and I'm going on with cleaning. Bye bye.